So it's been a couple of days and I log on and immediately see this campfire over here which means somebody has found this place already. Which is both good and bad for me. Um, I've basically been wanting to set up in this area. Or rather here, over there in that flat area. But I can mine this azalea or under this azalea and find myself a lush cave. But obviously that isn't in the cards right now. So... What I'll do instead is I'll just keep going, I guess. Maybe just pick up a sapling or two for my collection. Then I'll just leave. This dark uh, roofed forest is just so massive that I know that I wouldn't be worrying about dark oak anytime soon. Okay, this seems quite lovely. I thought it was going to be like a regular plains, but this looks like some flower plains to me with all these flowers. I especially like the corn flowers, the blue ones. This might be a great place for me, even if just so I could farm these flowers. Let me just check this room portal as well. Um, could pick up that, I could pick up that, I guess. Nothing really here that I absolutely need. Now this might be a cool spot for us. Let me just see. I'm hoping it's an island, because if so, then this could be the start of something for us. I would really like something that has a clear boundary just so I know where to stop, where to go. But it seems like it's a peninsula after all, i.e. it's only surrounded on like three sides, but might still actually be good for us. Alright, let's keep going. And it looks like we just circled right back around to where the village is and the cherry forest well that seems to me like fate isn't it um i think i'm just gonna go settle in the cherry forest after all really just hoping that no one else has settled here because if they do then i'll have to move back away oh gosh and i've almost died just now that could have been terrible that was quite the high fall i just went through i ended up going well past the cherry forest from earlier and i saw this um, plains and hills and this might be the one i think i'm gonna go out and explore a bit more i still see some of those cherry trees so it's not like we're losing those but that seems very brown to me so i'm gonna have to check it out see whether we still have the grasslands over there so not only did we find some hills we actually found another flower um flower biome so that was amazing but i saw something in the distance over there and wanted to see whether it was a structure oh it's actually a village over there hello oh i'm actually quite liking this area now because nearby village even if it's like a few hundred blocks away that's still relatively nearby that's another one over there man being in the middle here might be the best have an iron golem here as well. Lots of villagers we could work with. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go set up over there and have the guys from both villages be the ones we work with. So I'm gonna go back there, set, our set ourselves up some basic storage, and then we're gonna go see what we could find these two villages. Alright, I'm in a death loop right now. I'm really hoping that my stuff is still out there. Okay, it is, but there's spider jockey down there. There's a lot more down there as well that I can only hope to attempt to fight at this point. There's a creeper as well. Gosh. Right. It, I, I was able to sleep, so that means um, I might have a chance of recovering my stuff still. Gosh. Making sure I'm not lo I'm losing as little as possible. Gosh. Gosh. Stop. And so finally recovering some of my stuff. It seems like I won't be able to go to the village after all. Or either of the villages. I've started um, replanting some of my stuff. So I have a spruce tree over there. But I haven't gotten even a single piece of stone so far but what's gonna happen now is gonna is gonna be 
I'll spend the next episode just getting my first materials, just making sure that I don't die every night. And we'll see what we can do. Hopefully, we'll get to those two villages over there and over there. Hopefully, we'll also get to meet the rest of the players on this server or in this realm. For now, we're gonna be staying here for a bit and thinking about perhaps going into this massive cave over here for some resources. Maybe we'll link something to that, but I guess we'll find out. To be honest, I have no idea what number episode this would be since I haven't even edited my first uh, few sessions recording this SMP. I've just been focusing on just getting myself situated with recording Minecraft again. Well, in the previous episodes, episode? Episodes? I don't know. I spent a lot of time just finding a good place for me to stop. I thought that uh, the one at the taiga was pretty good with, Aze with the one azalea tree, but I saw signs of player activity there and I was like, okay, let's just move out. Turns out that Blue himself was there, um, but was only spending a couple of minutes or so over there and wasn't actually going to settle the area. It was too bad, I actually quite liked the area, but in hindsight, I still have my preferences. I still like this uh, plains and hills sort of area. For this episode, I'd be focusing more on just making sure I don't die. So it's just gonna be getting myself some torches, some coal, some food, just things like that. Things that will help me not die immediately. Also, I'm thinking of at least planning out the layout of my starter house, which would likely be over here in this area. Not that big, not quite used to making big builds just yet, or even smaller or medium builds really. So that'll be another exercise for me to do. And I also need to expand my farm a lot over there. Have a couple of seeds planted, but none of them are growing well at the moment. So quite worried about that as well my food situation is really quite bad as you can see by my hunger bar so first thing I want to do really is to make myself a fishing rod I would like to spend some of that time fishing so that I can at least get myself a little bit more food all right so let's decide first where we want to dig our mine shaft I like the area of, I like the idea of it being a spiraling thing having that it'll be spiraling thing so I think I'll go over here instead then so yep start digging out our first pieces of cobble so priority number one seems to be just getting myself my first few pieces of cobble and so we will now make our first few proper wooden items so we'll do that and we'll do first our pick of course finally get to retire that and also a sword so we can at least fight back all the monsters i'm um, not that one this one is what we need to open put that there put that there we could retire this one as well and i'll continue making the rest of the basic tools from there then make ourselves a one of those and one of those we should be good for a hoe as well and also furnace this would be one of the best things we could get right now some charcoal because we need to get ourselves some charcoal because otherwise we would probably die from all the monsters we have died like five seven times already oh, my crops are still aren't growing that's not great Actually, i'm not sure whether these are completely grown yet it doesn't seem so to me i had been starting to dig a hole for my mine shaft and i just could not <laughs> i just could not bear seeing my low hunger for much longer so i'm gonna spend some time fishing and see what i can find at this point, I don't know if it's server lag or whatever, but fishing doesn't seem to be working as well as they want for me. So what I'll do is instead, I'll just fight for my fish. 
Come on. There you go. Sorry, guys. I'm just bad need to survive right now. And grow some of this stuff. Does that grow more? I have no clue. So that definitely grew more. Okay. We have some more potatoes we can work with. And this, that's not grown yet. This is grown. Okay. Amazing. Alright, alright, alright. We are now at a much better precision than we were just a couple of minutes ago. Alright, now that we have a little more to work with, let's continue digging our hole for the mineshaft. It's weird to say that we're digging a hole for the mineshaft. We're not even at the stage we're at the mineshaft just yet, but... Well, that's the process. I really like to at least set up my infrastructure properly. So we're gonna try and dig this all out. I don't really have access to replay mod at the moment, so I guess I'll just speed up the footage as I go from now. Okay, a couple of problems here. Well, first off is that both of these rooms now feel small still. And then there's the problem of them both being squares. And I'm now thinking that this 7x7 especially doesn't look quite good. I'll have this one be a circle of a larger um, diameter. Maybe like a 9x9. Nine nine. So something like this. Where you have your 3, 3. And then... Maybe here, I think is where it would go. Where we would have this be the new side of the circle. Looking at this now, I think this is an improvement. I like that we had to close some of this off so that we could keep this circle shape over here. Which is just going to be a basic 3x3 three three mineshaft downwards. But it gives me enough space to walk around outside this mineshaft hole that we have here. In the meantime, I'm just gonna set up some of my chests here so that we can... Um, my chests and my ladders as well. Ladders are pretty easy to make as you might know. So we're just gonna make a couple of those just so we can show it off. It's just seven sticks in this format over here like an H. So we do have lots of ladders we can work with so that's amazing. So let's make ourselves a couple of chests as well. So that we can start our basic storage over here all right so this is the shaft design i'm going with i just have this crafting table in the middle here just so i can align myself with the ladder and have the ladder on this block and a torch on this block i'll basically be leaving five blocks between each torch I'm gonna be stopping at the regular y16 i guess I'm gonna be stopping at y16 likely just so we could start focusing on iron from there. Oops. And then maybe we'll go into deep slate so that we could start um, experimenting with other blocks to build with. Found our first copper here. Haven't really worked with copper much at all in any in any capacity. So this could be something we will be working on a lot or working with a lot, but. I have no idea read at this point. Okay, some interesting news here. Well, first off, I heard a spider and a skeleton just now, but more importantly, we have our first pieces of iron, which is amazing because we would now be able to build and make so much more because we would now have iron. My priority would be iron pick a bucket shears and a shield so if i could get enough for all of those that would be amazing i am just hoping to get the resources for me to get started to not um have to worry too much about surviving in this world we're gonna do one more layer here or a couple more layers here and that should be enough for us to start our next part of the mine shaft which would be our branch mines towards iron. We would then be able to, you know what, let's just keep this away. In, and we will be able to use this part, 
these parts here as our branch lines. Something like that would be how it would look. To start with, let's just go in the line, see what we find. I'm hearing a lot more mobs, so here's hoping that we somehow bro break into a cave. This seems to be a good cue for me to go back up to the surface anyway. Just to make sure that I'm preparing myself even better for the things I have to do next. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes and bring some of my stuff back up and prepare myself for leaving in this direction. Alright, it's time for us to make our iron items. So first off is of course our iron pickaxe which we use for redstone, gold and especially diamond. Next we have our bucket which would be for getting water. Um, I would be mostly using this for making sure that we have the we have our farms as close as possible to where we need to be. I'll also make myself a shield um, which would be great for blocking projectiles and then lastly we will have a pair of shears for those crops and things like that which we might need. Um, this will be mostly used for wool. With the rest of our iron I, I'm tempted to make armor but I don't think it's a good decision just yet. Let's just make ourselves some armor with the rest of this. Just so we have something to keep ourselves from dying that easily. Can we use a shield? We can, and how do I use a shield? Yeah, right, it, it was sneak, of course. So at this point, I feel like I've gone far away enough from our central area over here that we can start branching out from this spot all right it seems we have found our first cave i see a bat over here there's a skeleton over there as well Let's see if we can lower this skeleton closer to us and hopefully kill his feet yep as long as i basically keep the proper distance i should be fine i'm gonna Spend some time looking through this cave and see what we can find. Hopefully we find some more precious metals. Gold and diamond would be great. Redstone would be great as well. Amazing. Let's go creeper over there as well. That might be glow lichen, I'm not quite sure. But there is some light over there which could be lava, it could be anything else. I am, I am about to die. Yep. Well, uh... Thankfully, that was really close by, but... Still kind of worried about what kind of monsters you would find here. I also heard a slime somewhere. Which if we, if we could find one would be quite amazing for us as well. And hello there slime. Massive one as well. Which means we have a slime chunk somewhere around here. Which means that's another resource which we could potentially get quite easily on this area. Alright. You know what, for now we are retreating. There's a lot that we have to bring back to base. There's a lot that we have to process. All right, I'm looking at this place and first thoughts are that I would, I'm thinking of having some sort of water feature here. Maybe like that, that kind of size. Maybe enlarge it a little bit more. We'll have a little bit of water over here. Spread that out. I'll, I'll need at least two buckets for for a water source. Is that it? Yep. Amazing. So we now have that. From here, we should now have the ability to go quite far with our... Go quite far with our farming here. And from there, we'll start planting some of our crops. And hopefully this would make it so that we're not that worried about food for the foreseeable future. Meanwhile, I'll probably have a separate row over here instead. For our pumpkins. And just have those over there. So we now have the makings of a much better farm than, than what we had at the start of this series. So that's amazing. 
And I think that would be the end of this episode. I'm quite happy with my progress so far. In the next one, I'm hoping to get the diamonds. Right now, I'm just trying to enjoy this early game in Minecraft. But anyway, hopefully we get to getting ourselves our first diamonds, getting ourselves our proper house, starting house. And maybe if we're lucky, we get to meet the other members of this SMP. We'll see. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. If you want to see more, please do feel free to subscribe. But for now, the grind continues. Goodbye, everyone.